Okay, now that those other ingredients are uh, cooking, baking in the oven, we're going to work on our candied yams, y'all. And so we have them sliced. Try to get them as uniform as you can, but they'll bake evenly. If you can, you know, just close as you can get them together. And I'll just layer them all out, out in the dish and, um, and so that they'll uh, look pretty and cook evenly. I'm going to get over to the stove. Here I'm going to add my whipping cream. I've got some heavy whipping cream. To that I'm going to cut in my butter. I'm going to cut in uh, I love, I lose, I use real butter, y'all. Margarine is just uh, vegetable oil. And so, I'd rather have the dairy. I'm going to add in my sugar. You can use Splenda or Truvia. And once I found a good thing here, Truvia brown sugar, so it won't be so heavy a sugar here. I'm going to just, just, I'm just, uh, what do you call eyeballing that. And I'm going to just start stirring all that in together. Oops. Didn't spill. Then you're gonna get spills, but we'll just wipe them as we go. To that mixture now, I'm going to add some vanilla. I'm stirring for any lumps. Just get a good stir in there. Add two caps of my vanilla. I'm going to be generous with my cinnamon. I love lots of cinnamon in my yams. But I'm only going to add a hint of nutmeg. Just a hint. And I'm going to stir all these ingredients together. Turn my eye down. It's going to rise. It will rise. Now in here you have your you have your heavy whipping cream, butter, your sugar, brown sugar, your vanilla. You have your cinnamon and your nutmeg. This is going to make for a beautiful candy yam. And if you do it this way, you'll get it right every time. If you're making more, double up on the recipe. Do you see how that, see there? Hey, huh? Hey there. Hey there. Now we're going to get these poured over our yams and get them in the oven. Now I'm going to add my mixture over my potatoes and, and I'm going to see if that's enough to cover them. If not, I'll make more. And it looks like it's going to be fine. It smells 
so good, y'all. That's me soaking my pots as I go. I have to wash dishes as I go or else it's no fun cooking. Everything's backed all up. I like to clean as I go. Now see there? That's not supposed to look candy. Now see that there? Let's see, can we get them all drowned in that sauce? If not, I'm going to make a little bit more to pour over because I want them all. Now I'm going to cover them in foil because I want them to bake evenly. Let's get that stuff over. Let's get it all in there. Cover them all up. Drown them out. Boy, that smells so good. Can you smell that? Mm -hmm. My yeah, God, yeah. that smells so good. What a smell, y'all. My mm -hmm. goodness, what a smell. This will be your dish for Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, your Easter, Resurrection Sunday, uh, your family gatherings, dinners. You got to take a dish somewhere. They'll, they'll never forget you. You're trying to get married? It's your marry me yams. <laughs> you got a hubby already? This your keeping meal. <laughs> ah, that thing hit me. It, hit, it really hit me, y'all. <laughs> I started laughing. That was I had a, a, a something hit me in my stomach. That was too funny. <laughs> Oh, y'all got to put up with me because I got to laugh sometimes. My goodness. <laughs> and you're going to love that. Boy. And that's a great way to make them. Let's cover them with the fork. And we're going to get those yams in. I'm going next to that cornbread's getting done, y'all. Y'all see that? Let's check on our chicken that's roasting. And uh, also, we uh, put those yams in cover it right now. And they want to, we want everything to cook evenly. That's why we're covering those. Let's check on our chicken, y'all. Okay, that chicken, look how beautiful it's coming along. See the meat's turning white? It's getting beautiful. Yeah. I don't even have to baste that. That's covered enough there. That's smelling so good, y'all. It ain't going to be funny. My God, my God. I tell you, I'm going to just cover that up some more and let it go back in there. Let's check and see all those jams coming along. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Let's let them keep going, y'all. And I'm going to let you see that cornbread here. It's beautiful. Look at there. It's going to make a good dressing right there. And y'all going to see me stir that up right in that pan. That's why I like to use a good, nice deep pan. Okay, y'all, we made us a perfect pan of cornbread for this dressing, y'all. And I'm going to take my spoon and start cutting it all up in the pan right here. Let me get me a, it's really still pretty hot. I'm going to get one of these. I need something to hold that pan with. Then you just start cutting it all up. If you get a deep enough pan, you don't have to take it and empty it in a bowl. You can fix that dressing right in the pan. And I've did it before. If you look through the channel where we did dressing, we did it right in the pan. Boy, that smells so fresh and good and beautiful. Great. It's going to be, have the right crunch and everything to it. That's beautiful, y'all. That's how you want your cornbread to turn out. That's your cornbread dressing. Of these uh, ceramic pans, they cook so even and so good, and so I'm so glad that I've got these at Home Goods. And I always go in there once in a while and see what's latest in kitchenware because I love beautiful kitchenware, and so invest in some of that so that. You can present beautiful dishes. And I see I'm going to chop that up and make sure I get all in there and see what that's like. Look at there, right in the pan. I'm going to just chop it on up. Uh-huh. So I can make a good pan of dressing. 
It's coming up on here. Y'all see in there? Yeah, great, great, great. Now, a good pan of dressing is seasoned well. And I don't like too much sage and too much the hoopla. I like it natural and beautiful. Maybe just a hint of sage. I don't know, I may use it today and I may not. Let's see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to season my, 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 with my lorries, lorries. Season my cornbread. You can smell it already. Beautiful. It's great. And I'm going to use my Lipton onion soup mix here again. So you're going to have to buy a bunch of these. We get them in bulk at BJ's and uh, or Costco's, Sam's. You know, whichever one you like. It's really the kick to a lot of meats and sauces. You want a good taste in dressing. Now I'm going to throw in lots of fresh celery. Gonna get that good crunchy celery off in there. Now God is smelling good already. You want lots of celery. You want lots of beautiful fresh onions. Lots of them. Get them off in there. Your celery is good as your seasoning. Your onions and your celery, I mean your dressing, as good as your seasoning, your onions, and your celery. Yes, I'm stirring it right in the pan. Mixture. Remember that I used my chicken bouillon cube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig me a well in the center of that mixture. And I'm going to add my seasoned chicken bouillon cube mixture. That's my broth, y'all. Save a little bit to make that gravy. Y'all see that? You want it moist enough, and if you have to, you repeat you repeat that process again until you have enough that every part is moist. You don't want a dry dressing going in the oven. You want it to cook good and moist, and then let it come out the right texture. And 
now also I'm going to take some of the juice from my roasted chicken now that it's been roasting a while and get some of that juice and add it to this mixture. That smells so good and fresh. Mm -hmm. That's how dressing is supposed to look. Now you're going to need black pepper. That's your Thanksgiving dressing, your chick, your Christmas dressing, holiday dressing, dinner dressing, Sunday dinner dressing, turkey and dressing. The oven has the right texture. That right moist, that 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 moisture is is you don't want it dry. Yeah, but see how? See the texture. Look at the texture close. Okay, it's not dry. Can't put that oven dry. Okay, let's get some of the juice from our baked chicken. You see what I'm doing now is I'm collecting some of the broth with the green peppers in from my roasted chicken. And that is smelling so good, y'all. I can run out of here. Yet I have to run right back and finish cooking. <laughs> But we're going to steal that good. And that's going to make some good gravy there. Okay, let's get back over to the dressing. Making a well so I always have enough. Look, I'm going to add that beautiful seasoned in there. In there. Now I got the taste of the green peppers. All the good seasonings are in there. It's going to go in the oven and not be dry. I don't have to use a bunch of eggs. If you want to use eggs, that's up to you. But when you get it moist enough, it's going to bake, just make a good dressing. My God, it smells so good. Let's get some black pepper in there, just a little. You know what? Too much pepper. That pepper is slick, y'all. Because that pepper will ruin everything if it's too much. Just, just a hint. If you like sage, add a little sage. Not too much sage. Too much sage will, will kill it. It'll be sagey and too much of it. Give me a finger taste here. That's perfect dressing there. I'm going to get that into the oven. Beautiful. Now let's get that dressing into that oven. We're at 400 now in that oven, y'all. And uh, the yams are still cooking. That ch chicken is roasting open face at this point. Okay.